Hey guys, and welcome back to another train simulator video. Welcome aboard 2C13, a semi fast service in London, Victoria. Starting here, you will call at some in intermediate stops. The line is busy, so expect adverse signals. We'll open the doors and set up the train before departing. Okay then. So we're at three bridges. This is part two of the bridge and back scenario. We did part one a few weeks ago, and this is part two where we'll be going from. Three bridges back up, up until uh, Mono Bridge, I believe. So, yeah. It will get a lot busier once we get towards, um, obviously, London, as you would expect. It is uh, 8.56 in the morning, so it's still peak times. And we are driving a 6-8-car train. So, you need to change that to 8. The lights on, why not? Yeah, we're good to go. Just gonna wait for our passengers to board our train. You know what? Let's take a screenshot while we're here. Very nice. So we're gonna be stopping at Gebbeg Airport, Hawley, Purely, East Croydon, Clapham Junction, and actually we're going to London Victoria. That's that's interesting. Why are we going to London Victoria? I'm not too sure. Okay, it's called the Bridge and Back, so I was expecting us to go back to London Bridge. So yeah, that's a bit interesting, but oh well, I guess it's a bit different. Journey back to where we didn't start, I guess. Got like, I think, 10 seconds. Yeah, they're parking at 8.58. Okay, let's get going. This is a career mode scenario, so we do need to be careful of the signals. But yeah, let's get going. Actually, is there a green signal? Yes, we're good. One thing I do want you guys to let me know in the comments below is that um, do you guys mind my commentary? Or do you guys prefer me not doing any commentary on my train simulator videos? Because I know since 20. Train Simulator 2014 till Train Simulator 2017, for the most part, um, obviously they were all non-commentary videos, but let me know in the comments below uh, if you do like my commentary for my Train Simulator videos, or or if you would like a mix of non-commentary and commentary videos, so what I could do is like one commentary and one non-commentary Train Simulator video every week or something like that, which would be a bit uh, different. So for those who like just watching gameplay and without listening to my voice then they can do that and once you like to uh, listen to what I have to say then they can watch that video so yeah let me know because there are obviously scenarios which can get quite boring like um, let's say for example we're doing a non-stop service from I don't know uh, London Kings Cross to um, Peterborough and it can get quite boring here in a way because obviously we're not stopping at any stops and if I'm bored of bored and I'm not not too sure what to say to you guys then I guess there's no point doing commentary in the first place. So yeah, maybe those type of videos I can obviously just do non-commentary. And we are approaching Gibbley Airport because obviously it's only a few miles away from three bridges. I have once again forgot to turn up the graphic settings, so I do apologize for that. The uh, viewing distance will be quite bad. Hopefully it won't affect us too much. It shouldn't do, but... Okay, we do have a 30 mile number speed limit as well, just before we get the airport, so we do need to slow down. Now this scenario does also have class 460s as... Um, AI, but I don't own the class 460, so you won't be seeing any in this uh, scenario. But if you do own the class 460, then you will see that as an AI if you do play this scenario. And of course, you can download this scenario from Steam Workshop. And something else I'm going to be starting to do is uh, train simulator and train simulator live streams on Twitch. So if you're not following me on Twitch, then go follow me on Twitch and you will get notified when I do a live stream. 
on train simulator or train sim world. Hopefully that will start in a few weeks time. Okay, so a bit more. There we go. Approaching Gavik Airport, change here for I guess Fames Link services and Gavik Express to London Victoria. There's not going to be much AI at the beginning of the scenario because obviously you would never really expect many trains to be coming through and Gary Airport, apart from obviously Gary Express. But for example, if you go to uh, East Korea, then we should see start seeing some more service like this one, Bedford to Brighton, on Victoria to uh, Bexhill. And once we go to Clapham Junction, we'll see some more AI. Some class 450s, 444s. I don't think he owns any class 378s, so we might see some class 375s to replace the class 378s. Now we've got some more AI at uh, Adam Victoria, all seven services, pretty much. And obviously, this goes to London Waterloo, which I wish was in the game because that would be pretty amazing. Maybe one day they'll add it. I don't know Waterloo to maybe I don't know Reading or Waterloo to um Weybridge. Or just add the part from one of Waterloo to um what do you call it? Walking and then someone just can just join the two routes together. Hopefully. Is a holy, which is literally on the mile away, so not too sure if we're gonna be um, following another train, but as we approach from the east corner, then we'll probably start getting some uh, yellow signals. We shouldn't be on time for the next stop. We already stopped the Hordy on the way to three bridges, so we should be okay. Okay, we're slowing a little bit too much, I think. We are only driving a car train anyway, so we should be good. Because I am also doing another scenario later on, which is a patrol car train, and obviously they're a lot harder to fit on the platform, but they pretty much fit the entire platform. With an A-card train then, you can pretty much fit it quite easily. Yeah, massive platform. Should be able to fit a 12-car uh, train on it.
great British trains. Looks like I've got a bit of a wait at Audi as well. It's a bit disappointing. So arriving at 9.05, departing 9.07, arriving 21, 22, arriving at 31 and departing at 31, okay. And the rest of these are just arriving and departing at the same time, so I'm not too sure why he's done that. I think waiting a holy for this long is a bit pointless, but it is what it is. Okay, we're ready to depart, mind the doors. Next stop is Purely, which is 12 miles away. I believe Purely is before East Croydon, so... East Croydon is probably like 14, 15 miles away. to get to London Bridge than London Victoria because obviously between East Croydon and Clapham Junction we have to go through that part and that can take a bit of a while especially if we like going through a lot of traffic I might actually encounter some yellow signals just before purely because I feel like we'll reach the a bit early at this rate. I might I think that's a yellow signal for us. Yeah, it looks like a yellow signal for us, that's for sure. We've got 40 now 40 mile hour speed limit, so we might as well start slowing down now actually. I think that's a double yellow. to a single yellow so yeah so a bit more okay that is a red signal so we need to slow down now obviously if you do go past then the snow will end unfortunately <laughs> So in theory, like, we should be able to go. Even if we're going like 90 miles an hour. Yeah, it's not letting us 
Oh, so it must be a train. In front of us, I guess. I can check for ourselves. Um. No, I don't think that train should aff should affect us. Okay, it should. Yeah. So this train is gonna be going into the, these platforms on the right hand side, and obviously one on the left hand side. So once this service has gone past that, we should be able to go. We should be able to see it actually from here. So it's basically going from our tracks to the right hand side tracks. Should see it anytime. There it is. Okay, that's a class 375. I'm not too sure why. Um, maybe it doesn't have the class 387 reskin, I'm guessing. No, actually, that is going on our tracks, but obviously the opposite way. Yeah, I'm not too sure why we're stopping then. Okay, now we're able to go, that's a bit weird. Okay. Fair enough, that's good. Okay. Now ET is late, which is not great, but... We shouldn't have any more delays. I think we're going to be switching tracks, actually. So obviously we've got the 40 mile an hour speed limit. We're going wire Earlswood up fast. Yeah, that makes sense. Obviously that train was on this piece of track, so obviously we have to wait for it. Switching tracks again. So the tracks on the left hand side are just probably for trains are stopping Earlswood station. It does seem to be like there should have been another platform here a long time ago, but obviously now it's just two uh, platforms on that side.
left with uh, around 5 minutes to reach there, so should be okay. I think that's meant to say Red Hill, not Bexhill. I'm pretty sure Bexhill is not even a station in real life, or maybe it is, I'm not too sure. I've never seen a train that go into Bexham on this route. So it must be a uh, red hill. We are going down into this cup of throttle. As we are going to be picking up speed quite fast. So yeah, should be good. So we have a green signal. We should be good. I think there's going to be a speed limit change because obviously we're going to purely. She's not that busy on the stage anyway, so. She will travel around 50, 60 miles an hour up until then. As long as the ETA is not going up, then we should be okay. Double yellow. Now we should be good to be on time anyway, so I don't think the next one will be red. I would be very surprised if that's the case. Break a bit too early there, but I'll take it. I don't know, like, we left 30 seconds early as well, so that's not bad either. I believe the next station is Purely Oaks, and then uh, South Croydon, and then obviously East Croydon, where we'll be stopping next. 
miles away. A couple of beautiful waves here, because we arrived a bit early there. Okay, we managed to pop. Actually, we got red signal actually, so. Actually, we have to arrive at East Corona at 31, wow. So we got like 9 minutes to reach there, we only got like 3 miles to go, so. Probably have to be waiting here for a few minutes actually, to be fair. And that's gonna be a bit annoying. We have a class 455 there. Right, went East Croydon. Very slowly. And another one departing. Very nice. that train going to? Tatnam Kona I believe it said. So the thing is like we've got like at least a couple of minutes to wait here anyway so might as well just watch this train depart. We have a graphics glitch with the signs, but what can you do? Corner branch. And also, we came from the straight from uh, Gary Airport. Come look at the map. So it's going this way towards Tatnam Corner. Next station is Kenley. And yeah, I'll obviously continue. Actually, that goes to Kate Sam. So I'm not too sure why that's going to Tatnam Corner. Then there's another branch line that connects to Tatnam Corner, I, I believe. Uh, yeah, we can get going. Still have a double on the signal because I was still got like six minutes to reach there, so. Probably best to turn around 30 miles an hour, so... Because we will just encounter Red Signal eventually. Actually a bit fast, actually. Shouldn't be too bad, actually.
green signal, so let's go a bit faster. It's a yellow, no it's a green, we're good. I think that AWS is fully for the maybe speed limit that's coming up. And a class 377. Okay, we've got like 19 minutes between East Croydon and Clapham Junction and Clapham Junction to East Croydon is like around seven miles so got a huge wait it's gonna be a lot of delays between East Croydon and Clapham Junction it seems that should be interesting that's a green signal yes it is so we'll probably depart East Croydon a bit late actually to be fair no point leaving East Croydon early a lot more air now which is nice to see I believe this is uh, South Croydon we did miss uh, Purely Oaks unfortunately but We got a green signal. So I think we should be good to go. We are arriving on platform one. Nope, we got a yellow signal. Thing service. Right, using a class 375. He probably could have used the uh, because uh, obviously the class 37. Okay, game. Obviously the class 387. Uh, Fims thing. Uh, Reeskin is using the class 375. You could have probably downloaded that and added to the scenario, which would be a lot better. Oh, I don't think I'm meant to go about. It's allowed us to go through it, so I'm guessing we are allowed to go. You know what, let's just go. I think we should be okay. Oops. So if it wants us to depart at 31 as well, then we might as well arrive at 9.30. To be fair, peak hours are finished now, so... In theory, she got a lot less busy, but this is London we're talking about. Croydon. Quite empty East Croydon. I have to say. No train seems to be coming into East Croydon either, so that's 
Nice. I don't think we got maximum points there. Or maybe we have, I'm not too sure actually. Actually, how many subs do you have left? So we only got two subs left and we, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get a thousand or a thousand points now because of that. Apparently we arrived here a bit late it seems. We're gonna check after the scenario ends and see if we were late at the station, but yeah, we got uh, a long 18 minutes to Clapham Junction, which is a bit annoying. And yeah, London Victoria. London Victoria seems to be fine. Doesn't seem to be much delays between Clapham Junction and London Victoria, but yeah, let's get going. Slowly. As we have to arrive at Clapham Junction at 9.50, so that's like 17 minutes and a half to go. He did say the line was, was going to be busy, so if I don't see much air, then I would be very disappointed in him making it like so long between Clapham Junction and uh, East Croydon. Gonna be experiencing that sound a lot between now and Clapham Junction. So if we, if we were going back to London Bridge, then we would be going on the, these platforms on the right hand side, up to uh, via Norwood Junction. We could go well, actually underneath or above, I believe. station we are going to be going by is uh, Selhurst. I think it's like so early that's the problem. Like, I would have to travel really really slowly. Us not to encounter uh, red signal. So far, we're doing okay. I wonder why some stations appear on the HUD and some don't. I'm not too sure why. And maybe the, the game doesn't class this as an important station. 
So I was in that sp the station at before, which was Selhurst. We didn't stop at that station, and we're not going to be stopping at this station either. But obviously, that appeared on the hut for whatever reason. Like the kids have to learn a Victoria service, so I believe that's pretty much doing your stopping service as well. So we will definitely catch it up. Stopping at Norbury, so we're actually really close to that train, as you can see. So next thing we should be at Red One, hundred percent. miles away from Captain Junction and we got like around 10 minutes left so obviously once that kids are hands to uh, another Victoria service has arrived at probably a different platform to our one then we should be able to overtake it because there doesn't seem to be much of a delay between Captain Junction and London Victoria only like around six minutes and between uh Clap Junction and London Victoria are like around three miles only, so that's a reasonable uh, time gap. Picking up speed slightly because we are going downhill, but we should be okay. Just try at this speed. As long as it doesn't get too close, then we should be okay. Not to encounter a red signal.
I was thinking that Resi was fast, but he's for that line on the right hand side. I'm not too sure where that line actually comes from, actually. And maybe that's for Finn thinks so, so maybe, I'm guessing. I'm not too sure. Now that server should be around ones of common by now. Nope, it's uh, not. It's actually arriving at Balam now, so. It's getting a bit slow, actually, to be fair. Totally a class 455 service. Signal, that's not too bad actually. Can go a bit faster. Yeah, we'll go around 31, 32. There we go. Badlam or we will get a resting mode cure literally right up close to it. As you can see, that's our service. Okay, that's gonna be resting 100%. No way in hell that's gonna be a yellow signal. That train's still at Badlam for some reason. It would be cool if we could overtake it, but I don't think that's going to happen. Until this train departs, we won't be able to uh, leave, because we're literally there, and then that train's there. And that train does seem to be changing platforms towards uh, Wands of Commons, so we should be able to overtake it. So yeah, that train's going, and this should change to yellow very soon. I think that 25 mile an hour speed limit is for the track change, we're switching tracks. service. I didn't actually realize that train was like literally coming up the same time as we are past that station. Because that, that KTM to London Victoria service didn't stop at once of common which is actually interesting. I would expect it to stop at all the stops but 
should be good to go to Clapham Junction now, so speed up a bit. Now we should be able to arrive at 9.49, so should be okay. Arriving at platform 12. Tem service. Um, what platform did they arrive at? Oh, it's just it's still approaching Clapham Junction, so that's okay. So yellow or red? It's green. That's good. Clapham Junction, platform 12, which is nice. It's a green signal, which is good. We see some surface and railway services. I don't think we'll see any overground trains, but it doesn't seem like he's added any. Actually, really early, so it's arrived like Clapton Junction a bit slow, so why not? I didn't want to take a screenshot there, but I think I did stop with the eight car mark on it, so that's not too bad. Can you take a nice screenshot? That's the real question. Actually, we can just about. Actually, we oh, this post is in the way though. I'm not gonna like that, am I? Oh, we got some 450s, we got a class 455, very nice. No, I don't know that screenshot, you know. I believe that is the service that we were following. Is it? Yeah, it is. It must be. Now that's actually an overground train, but obviously overground trains don't arrive at platform 16 and 17. They only arrive at platform 1 and 2, so maybe that was a mistake by his, him. Well, let's race the class 450 actually. So why not? So which train is faster? Probably the class 377. Yeah, we're gonna overtake it guys. I think that's a really, really slow train. Unfortunately, I think the AWS kicked in and I decided to uh, not enable it or acknowledge it, so yeah. I was actually too busy trying to get a screenshot, so that's my bad. We did lose some points, but oh, well, I don't think we would have got 100,000 100, points out of 1,000 anyway, so I do apologize for that. I did want to take a nice screenshot, but I guess it wasn't worth it, was it? And that train's obviously gone. I'm 
pretty sure it's with AWS I didn't acknowledge that's why the brakes kicked in because obviously because obviously we are uh, wasn't breaking the speed limit or anything At least we have a bit bit less of a delay to London Victoria now because obviously we wasted a bit of time there. Not intentionally, but you know. We are taking the inner uh, track, which is I've never done before. And we can probably see the class 450 over there. So I think that's is this stopping at Queenstown Road? I'm not too sure. I don't think it is. If you're wondering, that's what that station is, Kroonstown Road. The, tr the track is, uh, the platform is there, but uh, all the signs of the station is not there, unfortunately. Because up to the class 455. Five. I think that's the uh, that train stopped at um, Patisee Park station. But they did it, it did depart like one two minutes before us so It was a pretty much clear run apart from that uh, emergency brake, which was my fault, so... We are going to be overtaking that train, so that's nice. It obviously has to wait for a red signal. That's the K10 to the Victoria service that we were following. To be fair, this, the scenario is called the bridge and back, but we did go over to the, I guess, Battersea Bridge, so I guess that's the bridge he's talking about. You know, we haven't gone back to London Bridge like it's meant to be. Have we got that service coming into our London Victoria now? The train that we've been following for the last 20 minutes. So arriving on the southeastern platform, which is not making sense. And there is a southeastern train there, it's nice to see. Yeah, we already got a thousand points, obviously we lost. Points for, um, you know. 
taking screenshots, apparently. <laughs> Time to give it a thumbs up. So, yeah, we were... Actually, yeah, we were slightly late there. So we lost 10 points there, as I did expect. Even though we did arrive on time technically, but anyways. Emergency break, we lost a bunch of points. And yeah, pretty much perfect apart from those two errors. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a like, share it with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.